class of 24, congratulations. This is your big day. Today is Friday and it is your graduation day and of course some of you will graduate on Saturday tomorrow and I couldn't be prouder of the fact that I get to be a chance, I, I, I get to have a chance to be associated with you and all that you've been able to accomplish in your time in Lincoln County Schools. You have a lot to be grateful for and a lot of great gratuity or gratitude to show others for helping you get to this, this point in your life. I hope you appreciate on your teachers, your principals, your parents, your grandparents, all your family members, and your friends that have helped support you and get you to this point. We've got a lot to celebrate. This class of 2024 has done a lot of great things. You have a lot of kids going places. You've earned a lot of scholarship money. You've earned accolades that are really, really impressive. And I just appreciate all the effort that you have put in to making yourself better. The Road Not Taken by Robert Frost. Two roads diverged in the yellow wood and sorry, I could not travel both, and be one traveler long I stood, and looked down one as far as I could, to where it bent into the undergrowth. Then took the other as just as fair, and having perhaps the better claim, because it was grassy and wanted wear, though as for that the passing there had warned them really about the same. And both the morning equally lay, and leaves no step had trodden black, Oh, I kept the first for another day. And yes, knowing how way leads on the way, I doubted if I should ever come back. I shall be telling this with a sigh. Somewhere ages and ages hence, two roads diverge in a tool wood, and I, well, I took the one less traveled by, and that has made all the difference. So this poem by Robert Frost really helps me imagine the path for our, our graduates this year or what you're eating. Some of you may go to college and realize it's not for you. Some of you may go into work and realize, hey, I need to go to college. And some of you may enlist and then still go to college and then still go to work. So whatever your E is, I, I, I just want you to explore it to its fullest. You may take a path today that you may not take in another year. And you may still explore things without taking the right path or the worn path. And you may make your own path. Robert Frost's poem really helps you to understand and helps me to understand when I've been reminded of this poem for the class of 2024 is create your own path. Don't follow the one that's worn out. Don't follow the, the norm. Make your own way. Make your own place and make your decisions based on what you think you want to do. Use the skills that you've been given in Lincoln County Schools, whether it's at North Lincoln, East Lincoln, West Lincoln, Asbury, or Lincoln. Use those skills to make your E and your path matter to this community and to you and to your family. Be proud of what you've experienced and be proud of what you're about to accomplish. Whether you're a knight, whether you're a Mustang, whether you're a pirate, a rebel, or a wolf, I want you to always be proud and always remember, once all of those, you'll always be one of those. We're proud of you, we're proud of the accomplishments that this class of 2024 has made on our community, on our school system, and each other. I look forward to following your success in the future. And just like we've focused on this year um, with this little symbol of two swords crossing each other, that symbolizes iron sharpening iron. And with iron sharpening iron, that means it makes each other better. Find somebody to make better and find somebody to make you better. Sharpen someone and allow yourself to be sharpened by others as well. And you'll go far in life. And I look forward to following, the, following your path and following your, your accolades as, uh, as, as you continue to do great things for you and yourself and your family. Have a great summer. Good luck in your in your future E. Congratulations class of 2024.